So hello there today. We are going to be doing some uh, candy apples today. I have my apples ready. I have uh, Wilton's White, Hobby Lobby Red. We're going for the red look today. I have Chef Master's Red. And my recipe, I have six cups of sugar. And yes, it's six cups of sugar in this. I have two cups of water that I'm using. I have one one half cup of corn syrup, which is this, not cornstarch, corn syrup. So we're going to um, put this on the oven on my um, cooktop, and we're going to cook it at 300 degrees for probably around about 35 minutes. Then I'm gonna come back and show you exactly what um, before we dip, show you exactly what the mixture looks like, and then we begin to dip these apples. Also, you need a thermometer. You have got to have a thermometer doing uh, any candy or whatever. And it has to reach 300 degrees. This is a good thermometer. I got them from Amazon. And I have my curved spoon finally. This helps a lot. So, it doesn't matter which, um, what goes first, what didn't go first. For your ingredients. So, I'm going ahead and put this two cups of water in here. And I like to put my corn syrup and make sure to get all of your corn syrup out. And these silicon um, containers are really, really, really good. It's hard to get them out of the glass, but with the silicones um, measuring cups, you can get most of all of your corn syrup out of it. And this is my other, my one cup. That was my half a cup. This is my one cup. And we're going to cook this mixture at around on my this induction cooktop around six on your regular stove it might be seven you know depends on what type of stove you have and i love my cooktop induction because i don't have to turn on my gas stove that's behind me so i'm gonna go ahead on and mix um my corn syrup and my water together then i'm gonna add my sugar and on this pot, in this pot, on this pot, Jesus help me Lord. In this pot, you want to make sure that your um, sugar doesn't crystallize. I'm gonna show you how to like wipe that down so it doesn't crystallize. I'm gonna get a little water in this right here. So I'm, gonna, I'm still stirring this up. Of course, my husband just came in the door. I heard a alarm. So we're going to put the six cups of sugar in here. I'm going to roll that around. Like so, like this right here. And now we're going to put the sugar in. I'm going to put it in a little bit. And you have to stir this really, really, really good. Really good. Just stir it up. get that all diluted in. A lot of people just put it on at one time, but I believe if you put a little bit at a time, it won't be so hard on your hands. And I do have a um, handheld mixer that I use sometimes to help me with this stirring. Stir that around like so, like this. Okay, put this in here. Stir this some more. You gotta really stir it. A lot of stir. This is a big recipe because I need to get all these apples. So I want to be able to coat all the 17. And these are like a small apple. So we're going to coat 17 of these apples. Just keep stirring around like so like that. And your mixture should be like water. You do not want your mixture thick at all. If it's thick, you won't be able to coat all these apples. Cause your mixture will thicken up on you and then you'll be like, oh, you have to start all over and do another or do some more mixture for your apples. Okay, just stir and stir this. All right, put the rest of the sugar in here. Cause to me it's less stirring. All right, stir it up, stir it up. Around the edge of the uh, pot, you want to get all that crystallization off. You don't want your uh, mixture to crystallize at all. Because you want it to cook nice and smooth. 
the steer. Okay. Then we're going to add a few drops of white. We add the white because you don't want your apples to be translucent. If I do not add this white, then all you'll see is the red and the apple. You'll be able to see the green. So we're going to add a few drops of the white food cone. And this, our chef master, this white, I'm telling you, is a good brand new. So we're going to do one drop. Let me open it up again. Two, three, four. And that should be enough because this, this was a good thick uh, whitener. And it'll turn this mixture white. Then you add your red in there. And yes, you can put it um, at the uh, end. You can add your um, mixture at the end. Also, I have flavoring I'm going to put in here. So I'll probably put my flavor at the end at 280 degrees. I have different ones, candy apple, pineapple. I haven't decided which uh, flavoring I'm going to use yet. So I'm going to stir this to get milk and white. I'm going to put a little bit more white in here. So like that, I think that'll do it. Okay, and get that kind of stirred up white. Right? Cause like I said, you don't want your mixture to be thick. If you feel like your mixture is thick, you can always add some water. You can thin it out. It'll just be less candy on the apple cause you don't want all that. Some people like the thickness of candy on the apple. Some people like the thin coating. So you can thin it out. Your apple's still gonna look good and still gonna cook. So now, Let's get the Chef Masters red. One. That was two big drops. And I'm going to put one drop of this um, super red Hobby Lobby in here. One, two. That's all I'm going to put because I don't want my mixture to be thick. So I want some pretty red apples. We're going for the really, really red. So we'll just stir that around. And then even after this mixture cook, if you think you're, if you want to add a little red, you actually can add some more at the end. Just, just don't put a lot because you don't want your um, mixture to be thick. It looks a little pinkish now, but by the time it cooks, it's going to turn red. Make it okay. Just stir it and stir it really, really good. Put just a tad bit more red and then I'm done. That's it. Okay. Of course, no set recipe actually for candy apples. Uh, so many people got their own recipe. They come up with different recipes. People are trying different things, and that's the only way you can learn is try different recipes. So your recipe is your recipe. You can experiment on things. Okay, this right here feels like it's, it's, it's like watery, so I'm happy with this. Now, about this crystallization. So I'm going to take this right here and just get on the side, get all that sugar off. And this number of water and candy away. Just go all the way around your pot and get all, cause I, I, I can even hear it. Get all this candy off, cause you want it to be like smooth, right? real slick around here where you can't feel the candy. Get all that can off in the inside so it will not crystallize up. Some people use gloves. You can go in there with your hand, just have some water, and just keep smoothing it out. When I first started making can apples, I didn't do that. Lord, my pots were burning. I had burnt spots in the inside. I'm like, oh, Lord. So that's what you want to do. Now, um, let's see what kind of flavor. Well, I actually have like watermelon flavor, and this is by Loran Oils, and you got to have an oil for your flavoring. So now we're going to put this on my induction cooktop, and like I said, we're going to cook it at three. We're going to um, cook it on six and get it to like 300 degrees. Then I come back with you and show you uh, before we get ready to dip what the mix looks like. So don't forget to subscribe, subscribe, like, share. Hit that notification um, button so you'll be aware of my uploads. And thanks for watching my channel. And I'm going to put this on.
mixture is about ready and I actually brought the camera up a little bit so you can actually see me uh, dipping the apples and I did use my watermelon flavor. It's almost up to 300 um, crack stays. That's what you want, 300 crack stays. So do not forget to subscribe, like, share, hit that notification um, button so you'll be aware of any uploads that uh, I'm doing. So we have a few more seconds and I have some water where you put your thermometer in. Make sure my candy mixture don't burn. Okay, so it's reached that crack stage. Okay, it's reached the crack stage. All that noise is gone. So we're going to now begin to dip our apples. And we're going to um, stir a little bit, get some of, that, some of these bubbles to die down a little bit. And I should be able to get all these apples dipped. You gotta work a little fast, but safely. So, I got my house down to like six, eight degrees. I even got a fan because candy apples like cold. Um, you don't want them to be hot in your uh, kitchen when you're doing these candy apples at all. And I'm about to turn this fan on a little bit too. So we dip it and you scrape like that. Let me get a toothpick just in case I have a bubble. Hope I don't have any bubbles because I really clean, clean these apples and that's the um, thing about apples. You want to make sure they are absolutely clean, really, really, really clean. That way you won't run into a problem having bubbles. You want bubble-free apples, bubble-free apples where it's not bubbles sitting on top, sitting on top of the apples. So hope these come out really, really good. Like I said, I need to get all these apples done. I do have some pineapples in the freezer that I might be able to dip if my mixture um, mixture stays good. And I like my bottoms to be uh, flat. I don't like a a fat bottom. I don't like a coaster on the bottom of my apples, in other words. Some people like it over there. I'd rather for it be nice and smooth. So I'm scraping against the pot, not on the side. Try not to make sure to let your apples hit the side of this pot. These apples hit the side of the pot. Trust me, it's going to stick. You won't be able to hardly get it out. <laughs> you have a hot mess. So you're just dipping. Let's see how many we can dip with this mixture. This is the six, one and a half mixture, six cups of sugar, actually one and a half cup of corn syrup, one and a half cups of water. But I, like I said, I use um, two cups because I don't like my mixture to be thick. So if I can get them all, I might can get them all dipped. We're going to try it though. I'm going to get them all dipped over here so like that don't let them touch that'd be a hot mess and i believe i got an elephant skin on one of my apples and the elephant skin is where the mixture didn't drain down really really good and this stuff is like 300 degrees and i do love the silicone mat because they are, are much better you can use parchment paper but when it hits that silicone mat it does so so much better and these apples is going to be a Mickey Mouse. I'm going to put some little Mickey Mouse edible um, arrangements on here. And I'm going to show you what they look like once I get the little Mickey Mouse on here. There go another one. See right there what I'm talking about? There it is like an elephant skin, that little part. But it'd be all right. I don't really like that. Uh-oh, I believe I'm going to have enough. Plus, oh, I got some pineapples in the freezer. I don't know if I'm going to be get them out. They're dipping, though. So we'll see. that off. Dip. Yeah, I had to make sure I had enough mixture to coat all these apples. That's why I brought the camera close so you can see what I'm doing and not look at my face. Y'all don't see enough of my face. <laughs> so I let you see what I'm doing. Yeah, it took me a while to do to learn how to do these can apples. And I think I've done pretty good. I see one bottle, but you know what? It's way over there. And if you don't catch that bubble when you are, uh, first when you do it, it gets, it's hard. So, look at that. I'm going to have enough to do some a pineapple, I do believe. Okay. But this is the process of dipping these apples. And you see the pretty red that it is, the real pretty red. I'm dipping so fast, I couldn't see the bubble. 
and I clean these out. When I say I clean, I mean I clean them. Anybody knows me that I try to work to perfection. Anybody knows me. I'm all about perfection. And a bubble too in your hair, but you want your apple to look really, really pretty. A presentation is everything. It really is. All righty, so I now got all these deal. I did, I did 17. So that was enough mixture to do 17. 17 apples. All right, so that's it. Thanks for watching my channel. Now I'm going to cut you off and get ready to do these pineapples. See you next time.